Harrison, Arkansas is the most racist town in the United States. Have a little pride in the race, brother! What pride? Oh, what? I want to say after dark, man. Honestly, dude, you have balls of steel. Because you could get hospitalized by some guys that want to beat your ass. I've had several old men come by here, look out the window and tell me, he says, you better go tell that nigger to get out of here. He's good. About 10 minutes, I'm going to be back. You better be fucking gone. Okay, come back. We're white man for white lives. We matter too. You're a white man. Crazy. You're a dumb ass motherfucker. You dumb shit. Are you a Marxist? Communist. Domestic terrorist. Why don't you take it to Chicago or New York or cold it up where they're shooting each other? Explain to me why I couldn't buy that. There we go. Get a real fucking job. I'm Jesus. Get out of town. That shit don't make shit here. Hey, all lives matter, not just black. You're white, aren't you? Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, lady, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Saying something to you? Yes, sir. I am good. Because I'm, I'm tired of seeing this right here is the biggest hoax there ever was. It's just the next thing to ask. It, it is. But yeah, black is... lives do matter, but what about ours, man? Uh, apparently, black people's lives matter more than us. Apparently. You know, the Irish have to... Hey Mike, how's your day going? Walmart, they put out this statement. I'm gonna ask you to leave. Exactly what I'm saying is, is exactly what they would ask me to do. What up, y'all? It's your boy JB, aka Spoken, and I am here with another thing of unspoken truth. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? So, as you can see, you peeped the video. Um, yeah. It was a lot going on, wasn't it? So, uh, let me go ahead and break this down real quick, man. Of course, we see racism everywhere. Of course. Blah, blah, blah. It ain't nothing new. We know. I'm probably not gonna say nothing too much newer than what you probably have already heard before. But I gotta add a little chip into the dip, all right? As you can see, it was a white guy holding up a sign that said Black Lives Matter. And apparently he was in Harrison, Arkansas, and he said that it was one of the most racist cities and towns in the United States. I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure it's a lot more out there. But if he say it is, hey, it is, all right? I wouldn't know, because I don't go to them towns. I'm assuming that it's a sundown town. A sundown town is pretty much a sign that used to be placed in towns and cities and any black person that chose to stay past sundown, it was your behind. You out of there. Expect anything bad to happen to you. That's what sundown towns are. It will actually be signs out letting people know like, hey, I'm giving you a warning. You better leave here when the sun go down, bro. That's what they used to do. And sundown town still exists to this day. Now, I'm not sure if you see signs out there like that. It's not that many of them out there but i'm pretty sure in very few towns in, in very few cities they're there but what i want to point out is being on code as we sit back and watch every human race on the planet we see how they operate by codes asians are on code with their structure and culture caucasians are on code with their structure and culture black people on code with their structure and culture hispanics on code with their structure and culture but i happen to be black and we all know what black issues are we have a hard time staying on code for the right reason when it matters the most you see when you sit back and you look at this video and you see all these people all these white people react to the sign black lives matter you sit there and think dang people like this really be mad let me tell you why they were really mad they were really mad because it was the white guy holding up the sign and he was off cold this is why they were saying what about white lives yeah black lives matter but white lives matter too brother take pride in your white pride why pride whoa why you see 
Anytime when someone outside a black culture, outside of the black race, jumps off cold, they get reprimanded real quick. They get checked real quick. They don't play no games with them. They don't sugarcoat how they feel about them. They let them know like, hey man, you're not following the rules. We have a set of rules that we have in place to make sure that our race thrive in this world. And you're getting in the way of that progress. Now, black people, we're getting more on cold now, more than we have the past 20, 30 years. I say around the time when Black Wall Street was around, that was when black people was on cold. We had no choice. Now we're getting to that point where everybody's starting to get on cold and realize, oh, we shouldn't do that. Oh, we should do this. This is how we build. This is what's instructing us. And we kind of get on cold with this thing called counter culture, except for we use counter culture in the wrong language and manner and fashion and form due to our emotion. Because the people who we be trying to cancel, it really be over stupid stuff. Now don't get it twisted. Some people really do need to be canceled. So cancel culture is a piece of black people being on cold, except for it's very immature, highly immature. And y'all know this. You see, anytime when a black person jumps off cold, a lot of us coon up with them. We're cooning on up right with them. And a lot of us act like, hell, we don't even see it. I want you to pay attention to how serious they take the cold. They take it so far to the point that they willing to threaten their own. I mean, as you can see, the boy said, I wouldn't stay here after dark. That was to someone in his own race. Now, I'm not saying go out and harm people in your race or in your community because they jumping off cold and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, study how other groups hold each other accountable for the action. That's all. You should be damn near envious of how uncold they are. Like, dang, one white dude out there got all them people tight, mad, disturbed. And it's only one white person out there holding up a Black Lives Matter sign. Wow. So instead of checking others, make sure you check yourself as well. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I doing wrong? How am I contributing to my race? How am I contributing to my culture? And you gotta have an honest conversation with yourself and you can't sugarcoat it. With that being said, there's not much to talk about. This right here, the ongoing circus. And that circus will never stop until we get on cold 1 million percent. We can be 99%, 97%, 80%, but we gotta go all the way with it if we wanna see real progress and real change. Like I said, we're getting better as the people. We definitely are getting better as the race of people, black people, but let's tighten it up, all right? This your boy JBAK Spoken. Make sure you go to SpokenReasonsTV.com and subscribe become a member seven day free trial right now and uh i am I... till next time take care of yourself and each other Social media, social media, bring out the devil. Social media, social media, is the devil. Social media, social media, bring out the devil. The devil, it's a struggle. I'm logging off this time, you bugging on my time now. Let me detox and take a real.